story you'll only see today on News 5. More than 40 female veterans spent their day learning how to transition from the military to a civilian job. The Wounded Warrior Project reports female veterans have a higher chance of being unemployed compared to men. Our Devin Karp tells us how they're preparing for careers as civilians. Behind me, veterans are getting free items like professional dresses, makeup, jewelry. It's an effort from multiple organizations to support these women as they transition from the military to the next chapter of their lives. There you go. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I like this. Okay. I hope that there are some light bulb moments for people where they realize, oh. Terry Browning has been waiting for months to meet with other veterans at the Wounded Warrior Project downtown because she says making the change to civilian life comes with challenges. Because a lot of times when you do the military and you come straight out, what happens is you're like, I was just a soldier or I was just the signal officer, right? And you're not sure how to translate leadership and management into a resume and a job. That's where Suit and Salute comes in, a workshop designed to help them navigate the job hunting process and look professional while doing it. They're going to get three outfits. They're going to get a pair of shoes, some jewelry. They're going to get a gorgeous handbag. And most importantly, they're going to get the confidence they need in order to land a job and keep it. The women veterans focused on building a personal brand, perfecting resumes, and getting job interview experience with recruiters. I think oftentimes that's what I, I see women, uh, veterans and military spouses struggle with is just really understanding their value and being able to articulate that value, especially to hiring managers. Browning is excited to figure out her next chapter and is happy to do it with the women sitting next to her. It's all female veteran focused, which is exceptional within itself because you don't see that a lot. Having a group of women come together like this to empower each other and to celebrate each other while they're learning, you know, valuable skills for their career. It's, it's really important. The Wounded Warrior Project says they're always offering professional development services for veterans and their spouses. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Devin Carp, News 5.